Moving down the list, we come to the next control, the Multiply Spot By option. By using the white tone of coverage percentage from above as the starting point, the Multiply Spot By factor tool defines how thick or thin the white tone of coverage is. This tool keeps the white in the areas of the image which have white toner, only controlling how much white toner can be used in those areas. Let's take a closer look. A factor of 1 is the standard setting providing enough toner for most designs. A factor of 1 can be viewed as 100% coverage. A factor of 1 is neutral, makes no change to the white toner coverage. Remember that the multiply spot by factor is defined by the fill up spot up to value from above. If you choose a factor of below 1, then you are removing white toner from the white toner covered areas of the image. If you choose a factor value higher than 1, you will be increasing the amount of white toner in the white toner covered areas of the image. This is limited to a 100% coverage. Remember, we cannot add more than 100% white toner to the image. So let's say we choose a factor of 0.75 and keep the standard 150% white toner coverage, i.e. the fill up spot percentage. Choosing 0.75 removes 25% white toner from the total value available in the white toner covered areas of your image. For each color, the amount of white toner is different. This means that the colors still have white behind them but the thickness of the white toner is reduced. With a white toner coverage of 150%, single colors such as 100% cyan have a 50% white toner amount behind them. When we use a factor of 0.75, the white toner amount is reduced to 37.5% white toner. This is because we are removing 25% white toner from the available 50%. One advantage of using the factor is to boost certain colours in your image which are looking dull or faded. We can see in this example that not all colours benefit from less white toner. For example, we can see that the yellow area requires more white toner, while cyan looks brighter with less white toner. You will need to look at the colours in your image in order to work out how best to use this feature. Please remember that using a factor value less than 1 is not recommended if your image has pure white elements. If we use a factor of 0.5, then we are removing 50% white toner from this area, which puts us in the danger zone, and the danger zone is outside the limits of the transfer media. Remember, for a complete transfer to work every time, the transfer media requires at least 80% toner, and this example has not worked because we only have 50% toner. If we increase the multiply spot by value to a factor of 2, then we will be increasing the amount of white toner in the white toner covered areas of the image. For example, if we use a fill up spot up to value of 150% and a factor value of 1, then single colors such as 100% cyan or 100% yellow will have 50% white toner printed behind them. Let's go back to the color management controls so we can remember which colors are which here. Here we have cyan and yellow. Now that we know which colors will be most affected by this example, let's return to step 4 and the white toner controls. You can see that both colors in the preview image have a white toner coverage. By using a factor of 2, we can double the amount of white toner behind these colors. We can now see that both colors are brighter than previously. Why do we have a factor of 3, 4 and 5? These values should be taken into consideration for mixed colors. This light orange color requires 40% magenta and 100% yellow to make this color. The total value of this light orange color is 140% toner. With a fill up spot value of 150%, the light orange color will only have 10% white toner printed behind it. And if we use a factor of 2, we can double this amount of white toner to 20%. If this is not enough white toner and you would like to add more, then using a factor of 3, 4 or 5, we can triple, quadruple or even quintuple the white toner amount. For this image, we will leave the multiply spot by value as a factor of 1. A factor of 1 is our standard setting, which we have marked with an asterisk. A factor of 1 provides enough toner for most designs, but if you require more or less white toner then please use this tool to control the amount. 